Whenever I tell people I love physics, they immediately assume that it's because that means I can calculate crazy complicated things like the highest velocity you would reach if you decided to make a water slide tunnel through the diameter of the Earth or some other wild problem like that. But I'm going to be completely honest with you guys for a minute. Hey guys, my name is Liberty Zarnik and I love springs. Yes, slinkies, pens, mattresses, those little springs they put in between your brackets sometimes when you get braces. It just blows my mind how they work. Why do I love springs, you ask? It's pretty simple. They're full of potential. <laughs> no, seriously, that's the entire reason why springs act the way they do. Let me back up and give you the facts for a second. In 1676, Robert Hooke defined the way springs act with Hooke's Law, stating that the force of a spring is defined by the distance the spring has stretched from equilibrium multiplied by the spring's stiffness. This also means that in a moving spring, the kinetic energy experienced at equilibrium equals the potential energy at each amplitude, and both of these quantities are inversely proportional because of it. That's it. There's no secret trick or anything to how they work. It's that simple. Unless you don't understand a word I just said. In that case, don't worry, I got this. With springs, all the energy you apply to move it away from where it naturally wants to be is turned into potential energy, or stored energy just waiting to push the spring back to its original spot. The amplitude is the point where you decide to stretch it out, and equilibrium is just where the spring naturally wants to be. The spring's stiffness is constant unless you break it, and is exactly what the name suggests. It's just how stiff the spring is. In terms of energy, an ideal spring oscillating in a vacuum would just continue oscillating, or stretching and compressing pressing back and forth into eternity, converting the potential energy into kinetic energy and back and forth. It conserves energy in this way, just transforming it into different forms each oscillation. Now that's cool and all, but it doesn't end there. Oh no no no. With the power of springs, now any problem involving potential energy is super easy to solve. Think about it. If you really wanted to calculate how fast you'd slide through a water slide drilled through the earth, if it was even possible in the first place, all you need to remember is that gravity is just like a huge space spring. So if you translate the acceleration of gravity into the space spring's stiffness and the earth's radius as the distance from equilibrium, you just made this problem 500 times easier to solve and you sound like a genius in the process. And if you still need a reason to love springs, I personally love how they're always a little reminder that when you think you've hit your limit, that's when you have the most potential. So do you get why I love springs so much now? <laughs> why do you love your favorite subject? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to let me know and subscribe for a new video every month. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Pizza out.